And they did. And they shall scoff at the kings, like the United Arab Emirates, all those other people saying, get out of there, Saddam, you know. And the princes shall be a scorn unto them. And that happened during uh, that time, ten years ago, just about. They shall deride every stronghold, for they shall heap dust and take it. And they did. I feel that's heap dust and shall take it. Well, what happens is, instead of going into Saudi Arabia after that, they dug deep, they built these big dirt uh, sand uh, berms and stuff to uh, make tank traps and stuff and set mines and stuff. They heaped up these big dust, big dirt berms and took Kuwait. They, uh, instead of moving to Saudi Arabia, they just grabbed onto that and heaped up these big dust uh, tank traps and stuff. So that's been fulfilled. And she'll heap dust and take it, and they did. Then shall his mind change. I think this is talking about Saddam. Then shall his mind change. And he shall pass over and offend, imputing his power unto his God. What happened was, when he saw that Bush was getting ready to... Uh, it's like he meant business by bidding up all these troops into Saudi Arabia and stuff. Saddam tried to get people on his side by making him look like the Mr. Muslim here. He put God is great on the flag of Kuwait, uh, uh, on the flag of Iraq to make him look like, he wanted to make it a religious war, so he imputed power into his God, <clears throat> so that's why I feel that that would happen here he became Mr., he went from secular Muslim to Mr. Religious Muslim this says, art thou not from everlasting, O Lord my God mine holy one, we shall not die in other words, when the rapture takes when you see this happen, you know the rapture is going to get close, and then you shall not die because the rapture takes place, and you can't die if the rapture takes place. O oh Lord, Thou hast ordained them for judgment, and, O oh mighty God, Thou hast established them for correction. Thou art a pure eyes, then to behold evil. Thou canst not look on iniquity, therefore lookest Thou upon them that dwell, that deal treacherously, and holdest Thy tongue, when the wicked devoureth the man that is more righteous than he? Question mark. And maketh men as the fishes of the sea and the creeping things that have no ruler over them. They take up all of them with the angle and catch them in their nets and they gather them in the drag. Therefore they rejoice and are glad. Therefore they sacrifice unto their net and burn incense unto their drag. Because of them that portion is fat and they, their meat plenteous. Shall they, they therefore empty their net and shall not spare continue the slave nations? I don't know if this is talking about, uh, I think this is just talking about evil in general. I don't have, think this has anything to do with Iraq. Could be wrong, but that's what I think. Uh, this is just talking, it's just like, well, why don't you help people who are going through hard times here? It's like, yeah. It could be talking about uh, uh, what happened in Africa with the, this is the, the Tutsis and the, you know. Okay, chapter two. Now, I think this is going to be talking about the Gulf War here. And what happened after, since then, which is the UN inspectors and Saddam holding on to weapons of mass destruction, coveting, coveting and evil covetousness unto his house. Okay. I will stand upon my watch. And I've been standing upon my watch. Believe me, I have. And I'll stand upon, I will stand upon my watch and set me up upon, and set me up upon the, on the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am uh, re reproached. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, write the vision, and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. And I read it, and it locked me, so I'm going to run. Because I have read it, but I'm also going to run and spread it in such a way that there's a possibility it may be picked up and examined. It's all up to God. Leave it up all to God here. That he may run who readeth. And I'm the one who's, who, read, who read it, and I'm going to run with it. Okay, for the, vision, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak, and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. It tarried for like 3,000 years just about now. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Will someone, in other words, it's tearing, but when it starts coming, then it will not tarry. 
Yeah. So it's like saying when Christ said, "Behold, I come quickly." Uh, well, when he comes quickly, he will come quickly. But so I think that's kind of like the same same thing. You know, he's tearing, but then when he come, when he's he will not tarry. So same sort of thing here. Aki, behold, his soul which uh, is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. I don't know what that's talking about at all. It could be talking about the Antichrist. I have no idea. Walk-ins, I don't know. Also, yeah, also, because he transgress, transgresses by wines, could be talking about Saddam. And I think the wine is oil here. He is a proud man. Yeah, I think this is talking about Saddam. Yeah, also, because he transgress, transgresseth by wine, oil, gasoline. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. Yeah, he didn't stay, he went to, he tried to attack, invade Iran, then he tried to invade Kuwait, and then later on he even went into Saudi Arabia, briefly. But, uh, they're during the Gulf War. Neither keepeth at home, who enlarges his desire as hell, find those weapons of mass destruction and is as death that's Saddam boy you look you just think of you just think of crossing crossing the people shoot you or have someone uh, kill your family or something like that and cannot be satisfied but gathereth unto him all nations and he did that during the Gulf War he gathered all the nations gathered unto him all the nations I mean he a lot, of, well, anyway, a lot of nations turned against him. It wasn't all of it. A lot of them turned against him. Yeah, all the nations. And he put un, up, unto him all people. And he made guests in his country. Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. Uh, that's Kuwait, you know. Woe to him that take Kuwait, I feel. How long? You know, how long is he going to be Kuwait? How long is he going to be in Kuwait? You know, how you know how long? And to him that ladeth himself with the clay, I don't know what that ladeth him up himself with the clay is. You look up means pledges. I don't know what that means. I don't understand that. But I think that's talking about Saddam and Kuwait. That first part. Okay, shall they not rise up suddenly, and shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them? And that happened, I feel that's been fulfilled with uh, uh, the Gulf War. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, I think this is talking about future stuff here. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. In other words, when Saddam gets done pressing the button on the people around uh, Iraq, what's left of them will spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city and all that dwell therein woe to him that coveteth an evil covetousness unto his house I think that's talking about Saddam and that the evil covetousness that he's coveting to his house are the weapons of mass destruction he wants weapons of mass destruction that's what he's coveting that's an evil wanting to his house his country that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. He thinks that the weapons of mass destruction will keep him from the power of evil. That's what I think that's talking about. That he will set his nest on high, and he may be delivered from the power of evil. He's using weapons of mass destruction to be, to be Mr. Power Guy there, keep people away from him. The trouble is, it's going to do the opposite, because then you read on further, it says... Thou hast consulted shame to thy house by cutting off many people. Well, the people in Iraq are cut off. All the people that are doing well are the ones that are his henchmen. He's kind of he's keeping the UN from helping them. He did that with the Kurds, and he's now really doing it with the Shiites. The Kurds are doing pretty well now because he's letting them. He's trying to keep them from uprising by letting them uh, smuggle oil through there. Yeah, by cutting off many people. And thou hast sinned against thy soul. <clears throat> then it says, and I feel that this is what happened, because he, he, he did this, and has been doing this, coveting with his evil coveting, just wanting the weapons of mass destruction. You and inspector pulls, you inspection teams pull out, the unscum. And then it says, 
For the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the beam of the timber shall answer it. When they, that when it says the stone shall cry out of the wall, and the beam of the timber shall answer it, I think that's talking about a house getting it, or a building gets blasted. Stone shall cry out of the wall, you know, the concrete goes flying out of there, and the beam of the timber shall answer it, and the wooden beam comes crashing down. Woe to you know, the bomb goes off. The cruise missile hits something here. Woe to him that to build up the town with blood. And Saddam built Baghdad with blood. He became the ruler of Iraq through killing people. He became the ruler of Baghdad by killing people. And establish a city by iniquity. Babylon. I mean Baghdad. Behold, it is not of the Lord of hosts. Behold, behold, is it not of the Lord of hosts that the people shall labor in the very fire and the people shall weary themselves for vanity, for nothing? And I feel that that's talking about unscum. They were there, and now they're out of there, and it's all been for nothing, because now Saddam's getting his weapons of mass destruction again, hiding them, so it's all been for nothing. Since we pulled him out of there, we don't know what he's doing. All that is... All, all we did was just put him off 10 years. Now he can have, he can sneak whoever's in there, and it's all a bit for nothing, because now they're, they're not in there. He can say, I don't have any weapons of mass destruction, because he's now found a great hiding places for him. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. That sounds like the universe of salvation. That's definitely way future here. Woe to him that giveth his neighbor drink,